Hi everyone, this is Elin Jia from University of Virginia. It is my great pleasure to present our paper, Pair Rank Online Pairwise Learning to Rank by Divider Conquer today. This is a joint work with my lab mate Hua Zhen, my previous mentor Stephen Guo from Walmart Labs, and my advisor Professor Hong Ni Wang. So let's get started. Nowadays, result ranking serves as a predominant interface between users and a massive amount of information indexed in modern online systems. There's almost nothing that is not ranked, from web pages in modern search engines to posts and job applicants in social networking websites. Almost all commercial web search engines are backended by learning to rank. Traditional offline learning to rank trains a model with manually labeled data. There are several drawbacks. Uh, the first one is it needs a large data set, which is very expensive and time consuming to construct. And the manually created labels may mismatch users' true information need, not to mention users' intent may change over time. Online learning to rank eliminates such heavy dependency of the explicit relevance annotation by directly optimizing the ranker from users' implicit feedback on the fly. The key difference between online and offline learning to rank is online learning to rank needs to serve while learning, learning from its presented rankings. The implicit feedback obtained from the interactions is known to be biased and noisy. Therefore, the ranking system needs to balance the need of exploitation by presenting the best results estimated so far to satisfy users, and the need of exploration by presenting currently underestimated results to best improve the ranker. The, the existing offline learning to rank solutions can be categorized in several groups. The first kind of solutions explore in the action space, for example, cascading bandit, top rank, and rack rank. They learn the best ranked list for each individual query separately. The second type of work explores in the model space, for example, during bandit gradient descent and uh, its extension multi-leaf gradient descent. They learn the best ranker in the entire model space. And uh, there are several work want to bridge the gap between the online and on offline learning to rank. For example, Epsilon Grady rank SVM. They use the Epsilon Grady exploration strategy, randomly explore the documents with a rank SVM as a ranker. And the PDGD sample uh, samples the next document from a practical loose model. In this work, we propose to perform the pairwise exploration with respect to the ranker's constant estimation accurate uncertainty. The key insight is for any ranking list, it can be decomposed into a series of pairwise comparisons. Based on the model's uncertainty, we only need to explore the document pairs that the ranker is still uncertain about the order. For example, suppose we have the document graph where each node representing a document and the link between them represents the estimated preference. The black line here indicates the ranker is certain about its estimation, while the red dash line indicates the ranker is still uncertain about the estimated order. For all the uncertain rankers, rank orders, we propose to perform the exploration, while for all the certain rank orders, we perform the exploitation. We can later construct the ranked list by a divide and conquer strategy. This would reduce the exponentially sized action space to quadratic. However, this also leaves us two key challenges. How to estimate the pairwise preference between documents and how to perform the uncertainty-based pairwise exploration. In our work, we propose to perform a pairwise learning to rank. The first step is to get the training data. As we know that the user's clicks are biased and noisy, in this work, we adopt the widely used relative preference feedback in pairwise learning to rank. We assume that the clicked documents are preferred over the exam but not clicked ones, and the document that precedes the last clicked document and the first subsequent unclicked document are examined by the user. For, exa for example, assuming we have five documents and the document three is clicked, then the first four documents are assumed to be examined by the user while the last one is not examined. It is worth to note that as the 
uh, inferred preference is the input of our algorithm. Our algorithm does not depend on any specific click model as long as the examination probability can be assessed. For the model training part, we adopt a single layer rank net model with the sigmoid activation, activation function. Uh, the loss function at the time t can be constructed like this. We use all the training data observed so far to train the model, where the yijs indicate whether the document i is preferred over document j in the click feedback. And uh, we use this sigmoid function to model the pairwise preference probability, where the score of each document is assumed to be linear to the feature vector of the document. Um, by optimizing the objective function, we can get the ranking model learned so far. However, the estimated model is uncertain. The main reason is the pairwise feedback is noise. Um, given the document is examined, we assume that uh, the click feedback is independent from each other. Therefore, the pairwise feedback can be modeled with the optimal, uh, the true preference and the pairwise noise, which follows a uh, which as we assume that follows a sub Gaussian distribution. In this case, uh, the co confidence interval of the estimation would have a high probability upper bound. The details of this analysis can be found in lemma one in the paper. Therefore, with uh, a high probability, the optimal value of the pairwise preference belongs to this term, where the sigmoid value represents the estimated pairwise preference and the CB represents the estimated uncertainty. Now let's see an example. Suppose we have two document pairs, document IJ and document I prime J prime. The blue bar here is uh, the estimated value and uh, the gray rectangular is the confidence interval. Um, the estimated pairwise preference indicates the probability that the first document is more relevant than the second one under the given query. Therefore, with probability 0.5, it means that the two documents will have the same relevance. For document pair IJ, we consider that uh, the estimated pairwise preference is certain because its lower confidence bound of the estimation is larger than 0.5, which means the true preference will also be considered consistent with the estimated one. While for document I prime and J prime, we would consider the estimation is uncertain because the estimated preference is I prime is better than J prime. However, the true preference might fall into this area where document J prime is more relevant than document I prime, which means the true preference may present an opposite of order from the estimated one. And we need to explore this pair for more information. Now we present our pairwise exploration model named as the pair rank. Uh, first, we have the document graph, which is constructed with the certain and uncertain rank orders between document pairs based on the current ranker. In order to explore the uncertain rank orders, we first construct the blocks by the here, each block can be constructed with the connected components in the uncertain rank order graph. As there's no uncertain order between any blocks, we can use a topological sort with respect to the certain rank orders to rank the blocks. This is equivalent to exploit the certain rank orders. Then we will perform a random shuffling on the documents within each block and generate the ranked list. This random shuffling is to perform the exploration of the uncertain rank orders. To evaluate the theoretical property of the proposed pair rank model, we first proposed a pairwise regret defined for online learning to rank with a cumulative number of misordered pairs from the presenting, presented ranking to the ideal one. As most ranking metrics employed in real-world retrieval systems can be decomposed into pairwise comparisons, our defined regret directly connects the online learning to rank algorithm's online performance with classical ranking evaluations. And we proved a sublinear upper regret bound of a pair rank, and the details can be found in Serum 1 in paper. Now we discuss the empirical performance of pair rank. First, we simulate user behavior with a standard setup for online learning to rank evaluations. 
the interaction between the user and the ranked list is simulated with a dependent click model, which assumes that the user will sequentially examine the list and make a quick decision on each document at each position. We use the click probability and a stop probability to represent the user behaviors. We employ three different click model configurations to represent three types of users. And we performed the experiment on two publicly available learning to rank data sets, Web10K and Yahoo. We include the following basis in our experiment. DBGD, MGD express in the model space and PDGD express in this by sampling the next ranked document from the Prakruz model. And we also have the Ypsilon gradient algorithm and the stochastic gradient descent algorithm for a single layer rank net. In offline evaluation, while the algorithm is learning, we evaluate the learned ranker over a separate test testing set using its ground truth relevance labels, which can be viewed as an evaluation of the convergence of the ranker. Here we show the result on the Web 10K dataset under three different click models. We can clearly observe the uh, improvement achieved by pair rank over all the baselines. We attribute the pair rank's faster convergence to its uncertainty based exploration. It only explores when its estimation on a pair of documents is uncertain. As proved in our regret analysis, the number of such pairs shrinks at a log rate such that more and more documents are presented in their correct ranking positions as a pair rank learns from user feedback. In online learning to rank, in addition to the online evaluation, a model's ranking performance during online optimization should also be evaluated as it reflects user experience. We adopt the cumulative normalized discounted cumulative gain to assess the model's online performance. It computes the expected NDCG reward a user receives with a probability gamma that he or she stops searching after each query. Our proposed pair rank demonstrated significant improvements over all the baselines. Such improvement indicates the effectiveness of our uncertainty-based exploration. To further verify the effectiveness of the exploration strategy devised in pair rank, we zoom into the trace of its block size across queries during the online model update. As pair rank uses random shuffling within each block for exploration, a smaller block size is preferred. The first figure shows the size of document blocks at rank position 1, 5, and 10. First, we can clearly observe that after 100 rounds of interactions, the size of blocks quickly converge to 1, especially at the top ranked positions. The second figure shows the changing of the number of blocks. We can observe that the number of blocks increases as the model interacts with the users, which indicates the convergence of the model learning. Uh, here's the conclusion of uh, this paper. In this paper, we proposed a pairwise online learning to rank model, which efficiently explores the pairwise ranking space. And uh, we provide a sublinear upper regret bound defined on the cumulative number of misordered document pairs. This links the pair ranks uh, convergence with the classical ranking evaluations. And uh, we also empirically verified our theoretical results. Uh, we have uh, two potential future works. One is to improve the uh, efficiency of this online model training learning. And the second is to extend the current linear model to the neural ranker. This work is based upon work supported by the NSF grant and also the Google Faculty Research Award. And we want to thank the web conference uh, for the student scholarship. And thank you very much.